Hello everyone. My name is Shamira, aka Mimi. Talks with Mimi. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I will be discussing um, a range of topics, um, you know, from self-love, self-care, also just them things, you know. I'm all about the sweeter side, the lighter side, the fun side of life. Just peaceful being your true self. Um, before we start anything, first I would like to do a few exercises. One is um, balancing my energy right now. So I'm going to start off with um, some sage. And with sage, it's more of a spiritual practice for me personally. So um, you can get the sage um, at any incense and candle shop that sells oils. Um, I purchased mine off of Amazon because it's just quicker, you know, maybe many places. Um, I would like to start off um, with the four elements to help balance myself, to balance the energies. Okay, so we start off with sage. And before you do anything, make sure you are cracking your window. Because when you light and sage, it's like you're trying to get rid of the bad energies and welcome the good energies. But where are the bad energies are going to go if you don't crack the window? You'll just be getting, uh, someone once told me, you'll just be getting the spirits high. <laughs> They're laughing at you like, ha, I ain't going nowhere. But anyway, um, yeah, just light some sage. Um, light it. This will be my fire. I also have my crystals. This is a uh, quartz. This will be uh, for protection and also protecting your positive energies and protection against negative energies. So this will be my earth. And I also have my feather. That will be the air. The strippers and the sage and positive energy. Okay. And I also have my green tea. That would be my water. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, I like to do another practice before I start anything. And this is basically saving my mind, trying to stay present because if uh, you're not present, how could you possibly, you know, think and construct words, construct thoughts if I have this letter, right? So, I would like you to get comfortable, you know. We're going to take three deep breaths. We're going to inhale, exhale, okay? Take a breath in. Out. Breath in. Breath out. Breathe in. Okay. Hey. And welcome back. Um, my mind is clear. I'm present. I am also uh, calm because sometimes when I do these videos, I can get a little, you know, chatty. That's because I'm excited, but also a little, a tad bit nervous. So, you know, this is my introduction video, my first time really putting myself out there to the world. Besides my, you know, friends and family, I'm just, you know, I can get a little talkative. <laughs> but anyway, um. <clears throat> This channel, what, well, you know, inspired me to start this channel was, um, I have a lot of people around me. I wouldn't say friends, but I would say acquaintances that come to me for advice about a lot of things. And I've been told plenty of times that my advice saved 
their life like really but um I feel like this is my one of my life purposes you know we all have a life purpose and that is uh it's not one big thing I feel like it's like a cluster of things I feel like each person that comes into your life you have a purpose with them not particularly the same purpose you have with someone else, but this is a big learning lesson. And we are all teachers and students. So, like I say, one of my purposes, I feel, is uh, to just help humanity, like, inspire people, motivate people, push people to do better in their life, to fix things, to solve problems, you know, just to make the world a better place. Because at heart, I'm a humanitarian. And um, I get so much fulfillment out of it. So, like I said, um, it's one of my purposes. So, I just want to, I want this channel to feel safe. Like, almost like you're talking to a best friend. So, like, one day you just, you're having a big problem, having a bad day. like. Click on my channel, you know, listen to some things. Sometimes talking to other people. I don't know, it does something well, to some people. It it just it takes your mind off of uh your problems just for a second. It doesn't have to be uh, you know, gossiping or being nosy in someone else's business, but sometimes other people's problems changes your perspective and it, and it makes you see things a different way sometimes your problems may seem so small compared to someone else's and don't let me don't get me started on comparing lives because i feel like too many people compare their life with other people's lives your journey your circumstances are meant for you not the other person the other person bs isn't meant for you it's meant for them you know, so yeah, just sit back, relax, clear your mind with me, balance your energies, let's talk, let's talk about some things, you know, um, another thing, I feel like, uh, Due to everything that's going on in the world right now, you know, the COVID, the race wars, uh, a lot of problems with the economy, all of this stuff stresses the crap out of people, especially people who have been taking a lot of their time, a lot of their life, focusing on the wrong things, you know, like I said, comparing lives, uh, you know, just entertaining this <laughs> the worst side of life you know i feel like we all get stuck we get stuck we get stuck sometimes and we uh have a hard time pulling ourselves out so sometimes we need each other to help pull us out of our own problems out of a, a rut because if we can do it on our own everyone will have a perfect life which none of us do. Um, it's impossible for us to do everything on our own. And um, I feel like if more people work together, a lot of problems could be solved very quickly, but they aren't. So um, I feel like a lot of people need to focus on fixing things within their life. First, admitting that there is a problem, that we have problems, that they're not perfect, that they need help. And that is like the first step to uh, betterment. So, like I said, my goal on this channel is basically to help you guys. I don't, I don't mind. I, I really don't. I feel like, you know, uh, I have the time. You know, I have a little bit of time. Don't get it twisted. Okay, I don't have all day, but I have some time. And why not? You know, just why not? Um, my first thing I do want to touch on is the lack of self 
love self-focus real self-focus like deep self-focus uh some people that i encounter in my life um i realized that one a big thing i have a problem with and I, I don't agree with is that you attract what you are that's i feel like that's some bs like i said we're all here to help each other Sometimes we attract people who need what we have, who need, you know, they, they're they missing something. And when they can't get it, when they're not getting it, it shows. So like I said, that's when you come in. That's when you play your role in other people's lives. So um, a lot of people do, that I meet, have the same pattern of a uh, lack of self-love and it shows up in uh you know their circumstances it shows in their poor behavior it shows in the relationship that they you know um decide to entertain and no i'm not judging anybody who am i to judge or we shouldn't be judging each other but i'm just saying like you can't expect to get what you want out of other people and out of life, period. If your inner world is corrupt. And if you don't think that you have corruption within yourself, everyone does. We have the ability to, you know, we have uh, good and bad qualities, positive and negative, you know, everything, you know, polarity. So, like I said, if you don't think that you have a problem, you are in denial and that denial will really show i've had people come into my life specifically um their background their way they were brought up is a little tragic no one has a perfect childhood but it definitely shows in a person and it does play a big role in their self-love and their self-image so, um, I had one particular person that came into my life and it doesn't matter, you know, what advice I gave them, what advice anybody gave them. The problem was they lacked the self-confidence and self-esteem to get their self out of, a uh, that certain situation um it was like one thing back to back to back to back you know you just one thing after another one terrible circumstance after another even though you know they described it as being terrible in my opinion in my eyes i felt like you know maybe it was a wake-up call for you to see the pattern in your own life so you can fix it because sometimes things can be just as simple you know you 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 get little nudges here and there from the universe and it's like are you listening are you are you looking wake up open your eyes I'm, I'm here you know so um yeah if more people will focus on themselves and really admit that there is some kind of, you know, disruption, a lot of things, a lot of things, you, you, you will be able to change your perspective on a lot. So, um, you know, figure out, figure out your, your, your weaknesses, figure out your strengths by really taking time and energy and focusing on yourself. Focusing on what makes you happy, focusing on what could be uh, improved, and just focusing on how you can uh, make things better, Not solutions, you know? Um, say, for instance, you're stressed. Who wouldn't be stressed? Like I said, with everything going on, who wouldn't be stressed? Um... 
I hate to say this because I know I'm going to get crucified for saying this, but I've seen people create their own suffering. They would uh, wallow in their own circumstance. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, we're all human. We're allowed to go through those experiences. As, you know, as long as we um, can pull ourselves out of it or get the help to pull us out of it. Um, but to sit in it and constantly wallow in it, some things can be prevented. We all have free will. We all have willpower. But sometimes you can't let your circumstance get the best. Of you. you can't let it run your life. So just like I said, just really take a step back and see things outside of yourself because when you're in a situation, you can't quite see the solution. But if you know that you are stuck, it, it is no shame in getting help. It's no shame in asking someone else's opinion or someone else's advice. You know, and now it's the difference between taking advice from someone who is, you know, loving the fact that you're just going through that. You know, because some people out here who will prey on you, who will, um, you know, Wish your downfall, hope your downfall, hoping like, oh, I just want to do that, you know? You have to use that inner guidance, that inner wisdom to know who's for you and who isn't. So everyone, everyone's advice is not the best advice. Only you really know what you can uh, do to solve it. Yeah, you, you, you can't get stuck in your own crap because after a while, it's like a pity party. And I'm the type of person, I'm the type of friend, I don't sugarcoat, I don't throw pity parties, you know, I'm, I'm more of that tough love. I will be respectful, but I, that tough love, I'm telling you right now, sometimes you need it. So, <laughs> take some time to refocus on yourself, make a plan of, uh, you know, things you can do. To find more inner peace. Because times like these, you really, it's it's really needed to stay sane. So, um, yeah. Take you a hot bath, you know, take some time to yourself when the kids are napping, because my, my son is napping right now. So, um, you know, take a nice little warm cup of tea. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, Pushing drugs on anyone, but you know, have you a drink, smoke a blunt if you need to, as long as it keeps you calm. Just find what makes you happy. Find your way of coping with things. It doesn't have to look like, you know, um, you know, taking deep my the way I do things, the way I rebalance myself, it doesn't have to look like mine. You know, just find your way, whatever works for you, you know. Um because everybody's everybody is different, so turn off your phone. Uh, stop scrolling on social media. Stop comparing life to others. Um, really, just tune into who you are. You know, don't be uh, feeling the need to. Explain yourself to everybody when you want to take some time to yourself. Just take some time to yourself. Just do it. And and no one should make you feel guilty about taking time to yourself. They shouldn't tell you, oh, well, you took a week. Uh, what's up? No, no. Don't don't count. Don't let anyone count your time or how long it's supposed to take you to get yourself together. Because your life is about you. Everyone else is just a plus. But you are number one. Don't forget that. Um, I feel like I rambled on a little longer than what I wanted to. Ugh, I'm on like 19 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, talks with me. I, sometimes when I get into a zone, I can just talk. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys uh, this took some um, stress off of you. And um, I don't know. I'm glad you had got this out my system. I feel like I needed to. Um, I do look forward to having more talks with you guys. Um, 
if you guys want to put uh, subjects and stuff like that that we can talk about, I can definitely go in on and I'll try to keep it short, no more than 25 minutes. So um, um, you guys ask me a question, like I said, every week I'll, or at least I'll say twice a week, I think twice a week will be good, I'll just pick, um, just pick ideas out of the comment section, um, or you know, if you want to email me, I'll pick your idea, I'll um, talk about that. You know, I might do a live, so we can do like a live chat, because I, I want to interact with you guys, so um like if you want if you if you really liked it um if you're interested in it like my video um subscribe comment um i really do look forward to having more conversations with you guys so you guys have a very very beautiful blessed day take care around it keep together <laughs> Okay, okay, bye.